What is the most exciting thing coming at the cutting edge of medicine? It's understanding that the aging process is the breakdown of communication between the cells. Dr. David Sinclair from Harvard is probably the number one expert in the world. There's something called Yamanaka factors, which is a way of turning on the body's original systems. You know, we all know that we have, as time goes by, you know, you have, a, uh, most people are familiar with their DNA, but of course DNA or your genome, that is not your destiny. What matters is the system that runs that. And so if you're, the epigenome is what's that called if people aren't familiar with it. And the epigenome gets messed up, meaning as time, radiation, bad food, bad lifestyle, it irritates and all of a sudden the communication is not so clear. But there are ways of restoring it. So they restored three out of four of these Yamanaka factors just recently at Harvard University. And they took mice that are blind. Now they had glaucoma, so the nerves are gone. And they reversed the aging. And they can see again, it's the first time in history. So the nerves Doing actually regrew? Regrew. Gene, there's gene therapies right now of people that are being able to see again for the very first time. I mean, there's, there's something called the WINT pathway you may have heard of, WNT pathway. I heard about this for the first time three and a half years ago when I was at the Vatican. This man walks out and, you know, I'm sitting beside Sanjay Gupta, who is a you know, pretty informed guy, really great guy, and Dr. Oz, they're both good friends of mine. And he's researching, he's really quiet, there's no hype, and then he starts to describe how they, you know, figured out the code of the WINT pathway. And the WINT pathway, after you're born, in the first seven to 10 days, if you cut off a child's finger and you don't sew it back up, it'll regrow just like a salamander's tail. But then after that time, we don't have fetal tissue anymore. Everything else you call you is coming from this wind signaling pathway. It tells the stem cells make this many brain stem cells, heart stem cells, etc. And for 30 years, pharmaceutical companies have been trying to figure out the breakthrough. This particular company, has figured out breakthroughs. Now they're in, I'm sure, you know, phase one is safety at the FDA, phase two is efficacy, and phase three is efficacy at scale, and then you get approved. So they're, they're at the end of phase two, about to begin phase three. They think, they hope by the end of this year, they'll be done. But in the preliminary information, here's one of their treatments, one injection, single injection. And if you have osteoarthritis, over the next 10 to 12 months, you regrow all your tendons brand new from stem cells. And it's from a new epigenome. You know, like when they made Dolly, you know, the, the when they duplicated, you know, a, a sheep, the sheep way back yep. when, right? Well, how did this old sheep create a brand new sheep without all those problems? Because the epigenome gets reset. So they figured out how to make that happen through your wind pathway. And it has all kinds of impact. There's eight different cancers that they're working on treatments for. There are things that'll just blow your mind. So I couldn't give you one thing. There's spray on stem cells like, you know, most people don't know it, but if a fireman or, or a policeman or someone falls into a fire and you burn your face off, we've all seen people who are scarred for life. The standard treatment is to put cadaver skin on there for you to try to be, keep you alive and make things go. They now have in seven hospitals in the United States where they can take your stem cells and spray them on your face. And I have them in the book. The pictures will blow your mind from grotesque to you could barely tell anything happened in a period of three weeks. Jesus. I mean, it is mind boggling. So there are things that can increase your energy. Right now, there is a study being done. Uh, you probably are familiar with the fact, as I started to say, that your breakdown happens in the epigenome, but also the energy centers of your body start to get weaker over time. And there are now new discoveries of how to stimulate the body so that that epigenome cleans itself off, like gets rid of the static, makes it clean again. In other words, does repair while simultaneously firing off the furnaces of energy in your body. And one of the studies, there've been a lot of animal studies, obviously, and they don't always translate. So you have to be careful about animal studies. They're, they're intriguing, but we don't know for sure until you do with humans. And in the animal studies, you know, an old rat, which I forget how many months it is, but let's call it a 60 year old rat would be the equivalent for a human. It can run like a quarter of a kilometer on one of those tracks. A young rat can run a full kilometer. The ones that they test here that are older can run three to four kilometers once they've had this for literally 20 days. But what's really cool is it wasn't supposed to be released, but it's in the book. There's a group uh, uh, from the special forces that was done in Boston. They just finished the first study a year long and they're seeing similar results with human beings. So we'll know more, but they're not going for this as a nutraceutical. This is going for actually a drug to be easier as a nutraceutical, but most of those nutraceuticals don't last. They're not, they don't hold up. This one they believe will. So for energy, for vitality, for your mind, I mean, there's, it's more than you can, it's 700 pages that give you an idea.